Hey, yo, what's up guys, Baby Bear 48 12 coming at you one more time uh, with a, a, a problem by popular demand. It's the count the unhappy friends problem. Now, uh, it's only really Bloomberg that's asking this one recently, and I guess a lot of you are preparing for Bloomberg, so I figured we'd, we'd go over this one today. Now, unlike most of the problems that we do, I think part of the challenge in, in this problem is actually understanding the question. I think in a lot of the questions we do, they're, they're more or less self-explanatory. This one's a bit tricky. Okay, The, the code, thankfully, will be... Oops, Code will be will be very straightforward, so that's nice. I don't think this will be too long of a video, but it I, I think it's a decent problem nonetheless. Now we're we're given a couple of items here. We're given a, a number n for friends. We're given a list of preferences, and we're given pairs. They don't mention that here, but it is given to us. So uh, n is a number that's always even. We're given n people, it's an even number. And for each person i of, of this array, preferences i, uh, each element in that preferences array contains a list. So we got a nested array of friends sorted in order of preference. In other words, a friend earlier in the real list is more preferred than a friend later in the list. Friends in each list are denoted by integers from 0 to n minus 1. So we have five friends, five people in total, rather. Uh, we've got can't have five people because we, we always have an even pair. Let's see, we got four people. Those people will be labeled zero, one, two, and three. All right, no funny business. Uh, now we're said that all the friends are divided into pairs and, and the pairings are given in this list, pairs, which is also passed in. Uh, and in pairs of X, Y, X is, is paired with Y and Y is paired with X, um, logically. Now, certain pairings may cause people to be unhappy. So this kind of rolls you back to like your middle school or high school days when you can't pick your own, your own group. Um, and, and things happen and in this problem. We need to count the total number of, of unhappy people. Uh, note, and, and we're kind of we're going to define what unhappy means here. But uh, in a certain pair of, of people, either one can be so both of them could be happy. Maybe one of them is unhappy and the other isn't, or vice versa. Or they could both be unhappy. All right, that's really important to take into account here because I think that that goes over some people's heads in this problem. So it says if x is paired with y, x prefers u over y, and u prefers x over v. All right then I guess X is, is unhappy. So let, let's look through an example. In this example, we're gonna dive, dive into a bit deeper and we'll build off of it. But if we're given four people and these are their preferences, uh, zero is paired with one, two is paired with three. It says that friend one, is hap uh, friend one is unhappy. Why are they unhappy? Because it says one is paired with zero, fine. Uh, but one, this is one's preferences, one prefers three to zero, right? And they also prefer two to zero. Fine. That in and of itself is not enough to give us any good information yet. However, if we acknowledge the fact that three prefers one to the person they're paired with, so one's paired with zero, three's paired with two. One prefers three to the person they're paired with, three prefers one to the person they're paired with, therefore friend one is unhappy. By the same logic, we can actually find out that, that three is unhappy as well. And we'll talk through how to go about finding this, but um, it's important to understand this example first. So if that didn't quite make sense, pause the video, reread the question, uh, look over the explanation again, like I said, because we, we need to start from a common understanding and really getting what the problem's about. And, and I don't think it's it's trivial. So let's say that I've, I'm, I'm gonna elaborate on this example here. I've got four people, these are my pairs, these are my preferences. What do I actually do about this? The first thing that we need to acknowledge is the fact that the person that I'm paired with may not be my favorite person meaning that there are other people that I would prefer to the person that I'm with. So how do we go about dealing with that? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a dictionary and I'm gonna call this dictionary D. And, and the reason we're, we're gonna make it a dictionary kind of as the problem goes on will we'll become a bit more clear because we're going to wanna loop, loop through things in a, in a clean manner and kind of using a constant look of time, all right? Um, and I'm gonna start walking through, walking through these pairs of people. So I got zero, one, two, and three. For person number zero, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to create a list of, of people, or rather I won't be using a list, I'll be using a set, which again will become clear in a moment, but I want to create a set of people who zero prefers to their own partner. So these right here are zero's preferences. Zero's best friend, or their most preferred person, is one. That also happens to be who they're paired with. So since once I find the one, I'm going to say that everyone after that one is less preferred than my partner. So I'm going to close off that set. In essence here, zero's paired with their favorite person, zero's going to be happy. All right, let's say I go to person number one now. I'm gonna to go to person number one, and I'm gonna say, okay, one's paired with zero, cool. Where does zero fall on, on one's preference list? Well, they're right here, they're at the end. Zero actually prefers both three and two to their own partner. So I'm gonna add three and then two. Imagine kind of iterating through all the items until you get to, to zero, okay? 
I'm going to go to person number two now. I'm walking through these pairs in order to create some dictionary, which will become clear in a minute what I'll do with it. Um, I want to say that two, so two is paired with three. Uh, they don't prefer anybody to three. Three is actually their top person, so that's fine. Uh, and in this dictionary, maybe I could I could make it more clear. This would be something like, I, I've really been debating on what to call this thing, but maybe something like preferees. I, I don't, there's no way that's actually a real word, but it, it's essentially the list of people per person who they prefer to their own partner. All right, um, and for person three, we can see again, three is paired with two. Three, however, prefers person one to person two. They prefer person two to person zero, sure, but they, they prefer person one to person two. And let me just make sure that I copy that down, right? Uh, one, two, zero, yep. So they're going to prefer person one to the person that they're paired with. And and overall, this will this will kind of close off the dictionary. And what I've got now is, is a dictionary or an object, depending on the language that you're in, a hash map. Um, that gives me kind of for, for each person, I have constant access to a set of the people that they prefer to their own partner. Okay. This is the first half of the question. Once we, once we tackle this part, the second one will, will require a bit of, uh, I guess, logical acrobatics. But, but the first things first is I need to identify who are the people that somebody prefers to their, to their current partner. All right. So we've, we've, we've got that kind of sorted out. What do we do with this now? How do we how do we then decide is somebody unhappy or not? In this list, again, I've got everybody that I prefer to my current partner. So what I want to do is I want to begin by by iterating through this list. So if I iterate through this list, and and for each person, I want to walk through all the people that they prefer to their partner. So imagine that I said something like I'm, I'm going to pseudocode this, which yeah, I guess pseudocode is, is actually really similar to what it'll look like in Python. But for, for each person in this dictionary, I, I want to walk through each of their sets. And then for, for that counterpart, so I'll say maybe for Y in, in D of X, that's because I want to iterate through everybody that they prefer to their current partner. Um, in what case are they unhappy? Well, X is going to be unhappy if they prefer somebody else to Y and Y prefers them to the person that they're paired with. All right, that, that's where the tricky part comes in. So, uh, you know, X is gonna be unhappy if they prefer somebody else to Y, and that somebody else prefers X to V. So it's like, hey, let's say you and I get along great, and I'm like, well, I prefer you to the person that I'm paired with, and you're like, well, I prefer you to the person that I'm paired with. We're, you know, like, we're, we're gonna be unhappy. And so from, from my perspective, I'm gonna be unhappy. From your perspective as well, you're going to be unhappy. Um, and so that's where that's where things kind of fall apart. And if that happens, I need to keep track of some sort of result variable that says add a plus one to the number of unhappy people. All right. So what I'll, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say if and, and this is actually this pseudocode is kind of going to be what what our, our code is going to look like. Um, it'll say if x is in a, a d of x. So basically, oh lord, that was a mess. If it's in d of x. All right, I don't know what's happening. D of X. Then we're going to say, you know, get some sort of result plus plus. All right. And we'll, obviously it'll be plus equals one in Python, but, you know, details. What does this code actually mean? This code means that for every single person, I'm going to walk through the people they prefer to their partner. And if it just so happens that the person that I walk through, or I'm sorry, this is what I, I made a mistake here. If X is in... Jesus Christ, this should be D of Y. I'm sorry, I don't know why this sum. Um, let me make sure that I got this right, yeah. All right, something's going wrong here. Well, what's the issue? Where am I messing up here? I'm sorry for the difficulties, guys. There. I'm gonna walk through all the people I prefer to my partner. If the person that I find also prefers me to the person they're with, that means that I'm unhappy. And we're going to add the result. And I'm going to, at that point, I can just break because I can say of all the people that I prefer to my current partner, I found one who prefers me to their partner. Cool. I'm going to break out of that, meaning I'm going to break out of this loop. I'm going to jump back into here. I'm going to jump back into this loop. I, I got to look into this after. I don't know what's happening. Um, I'm going to jump back into here and keep iterating through every person individually. And so that's really all that's going to happen then in the, in the second half of our code. Uh, so once we've, we've put together this list of people we prefer to our own partner, we then need to walk through those preferences and, and actually find out what the, um, excuse me, 
for entries. We need to find out if those people also prefer us to the person that they're with. All right. Uh, in terms of the in terms of the time and space complexity, I I haven't thought too much about that just yet, and I don't I don't want to mislead you guys. So check the description. I'll I'll put it down below for for what the complexities will be with the brief explanation as always. So let's let's dive into this code here while while we're at it, and I'm I'm gonna pull up my notes here. And, and the first thing I'll, I'll begin to do is I'll, I'll create this dictionary again. I'm going to call it D. You could call it preferees or something. I, again, I really didn't have a good word for it. But, but what this will be will be a um, it'll be a dictionary with with a set property where or sorry, it'll be a, a dictionary with so maybe we'll say person uh, to set of uh, people they prefer over their partner. All right, just to just to be descriptive, I I want to leave that. Leave that there. Once we do this, we need to walk through all the pairs. We need to walk through all the pairs. And, and for each single person, we're going to need to create this, this graph over here. That's right, it's not even a graph. Maybe you could interpret this as a graph question, actually. But we want to we wanna essentially create this list of people that we prefer to our, our current partner. So what I'm going to say is for x and y in pairs, um, meaning that's going to destructure. It's going to destructure. So 0 and 1, 2 and 3, and so on and so forth. I'm going to say in, in dictionary of x, I want to set that equal to some set. And, and I want to set d of y also equal to some set. And now the question is, how do we create that set? The way that we want to create that set is as follows. is We need to have some reference to preferences of x. So if I'm, I'm looking at person 0, my, my, you know, my, my, my property here is going to be 0. And I want to look at the preferences of person 0. And I want to grab a certain chunk of that array. What chunk of that array do I want to grab? I want to grab the chunk of the array that includes everybody up to but not including their partner. So for instance, if I'm looking at person 1 here, they're paired with 0. I want to include 3 and 2 because those people I prefer, 1 prefers, excuse me, person 1 prefers 3 and 2 to their own partner 0. So they want to go up to, so we're, we're kind of going to split the array here. They're going to go up to uh, preferences of x dot index of y. So what am I saying here? X, y is x's partner. We want to go to the preferences of that person x, and we want to grab everybody up to, but not including, the index of their partner, right? So since the, the way we split arrays here in Python in, in, in the second, on the, the kind of the latter half of this colon, this is not inclusive. Whatever the index is of their partner, we're going to grab everything before that. And similarly, I'm, I'm going to do kind of the same here. I'm going to say uh, preferences of y, and we're going to go up to, but not including, preferences of y dot index of, of x, meaning everybody that they prefer that's not that person themselves. Cool. That's the first half of the code that we talked about. The second half now, we're going to have some sort of result, and we're going to return that result at the end. And now we said that we need to start iterating through this dictionary that we just created. So I'll say for x and d, and then for every item in that dictionary here, we want to iterate through every item within that set. Okay, so we'll say for, for y in, in d of x, and now we have this if condition here. And, and in this if condition, we said that um, I'm looking through all the people that, that I prefer to my partner. If each of those people, if one of those people, excuse me, if one of those people prefers me, so if I'm in their list, then I'm unhappy. So uh, we say if x is in, in d of y, then resolve plus equals one. And since we found someone we're going to break, we know that person's unhappy. If we don't break, then we might count the same person being unhappy multiple times, which isn't what we want. And that's why we're breaking here. So again, I'm looking through every person. I'm looking through all the people that they prefer to their own partner. And now if I'm also in their list, the people that they prefer to their own partner, I'm unhappy by the definition that's given. We're going to break out of that for loop here. We're going to go back through iterating through the, the main dictionary we made, and we're going to return that result. So I'm going to run this quickly, make sure I didn't uh, make any mistakes. I'm going to submit that. And there we go. You got, what is that, 99th percentile almost uh, in, in time. And we got some good space there as well. This is will be the optimal solution. Uh, like I said, I, I'll, uh, I'll drop the asymptotic analysis and, and complexities in the description below. As always, if you have any other questions, drop them down below. Contact me. My email's in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.